Okay, there it go. All right. Y'all should be able to see me now. Okay, so come on, YouTube. What is going on? Somebody let me know if y'all can hear me. You see me? Okay. I can't see myself, so I don't know what's going on, y'all. I can't see myself. Oh, they can see me? Okay. All right, y'all. So, hey, I don't know why it's not letting me see myself. I don't know if I'm focused. I don't know if I'm in the middle. Am I in the middle? Is it blurry? No. Okay. All right, y'all. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, boo, sitting right here, y'all. Um, I'm gonna give everybody a few minutes to come on in. Y'all finally got a notification. That's good. That's good. Hey, y'all. That's good. Hey, y'all. You can't have that on in here. It's going to echo. All right. Let me pull up these questions, y'all. Give me one second. I'll start on... Um, I'll start with the YouTube questions, and then I'll go to Instagram. First of all, what y'all think about this Diddy situation? Y'all, let's tap into this Diddy situation first, child. What y'all think, baby? Thank you. Baby, this is... I was up to like 3 o'clock in the morning, y'all. I read all 73 pages of the document. This is a lot. It's a lot, y'all. I'm curious to know other people's thoughts on this situation. Hey, y'all. Girl, so y'all basically like so it's a it's a dude named was it Rod Jones? He's a music producer, and yeah, I, I kind of think Diddy did it too. Um, he's a music producer, and he first of all, I, I'm kind of sketchy about him too because he lived with Diddy for a year and I don't know, like, I don't know, y'all. Like, he he moved in with this man for a year. How you move in with another man for a year? He lived with him for a year. And he's saying Diddy is not paying him his royalties, his publishing. Um, he's He hasn't paid him at all, he's saying. So now, because Diddy is not, hasn't paid him, he's outing him on everything he did. He said Diddy tried to sleep with him. Diddy slept with Meek Mill. Did y'all hear the video of Diddy and Meek Mill sleeping together? I was like, oh my God. Yeah, Mace was smart. Mace got out. Mace got out. Mace got out. He was smart. I'm gonna paste the um, I'm gonna when I end the video, I'm gonna paste the document. I mean the um link in the um in the description. And Antonise covered it too, y'all. If y'all go to Antonis Too Real, she did a live on it too, and she was going over the document. But yeah, y'all, it was a mess, honey, baby. And that was definitely meat meal. I know they got all type of AI and all type of stuff, but I really feel like that was meat meal and did it on there, baby. And all you heard was, <laughs> ooh, child. And the man got actual pictures. He had a picture of Stevie J having sex with this white guy. And it's definitely Stevie J. You can, y'all know how Stevie J be doing his teeth like this? Y'all know how he be doing like that? You could definitely tell it's Stevie J from the pictures. Like, I'm convinced. Like, y'all y'all can't put this on no AI, none of that. Mm -mm. Nope. But, you know, people been saying stuff about Diddy, but he had money. So, it just been hitting. So, I'm, I'm inclined to believe a lot of that is true, y'all. I really am. I mean, I do. But I think he want to be a whistleblower now that he ain't get his money. But I think... 
And I mean, he it could have been that he was scared. He said Diddy did like threaten to kill him. He said Diddy was the one that killed that guy in the club, and he made Shine take the charge. Baby, he said J Lo the one snuck the gun in for him. Baby, y'all got to read the document, baby. This is child. This is something else. Um, yeah, it, it, it it's wild, y'all. It's wild. I was literally up to three o'clock in the morning reading, and I just really can't get that. I can't get that sound out my head, child. And um, and uh, making the sound like a whole woman. Ooh, girl. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, Wendy Williams did say it, honey. She did. Yes, yeah. And all of this is alleged. It's alleged. Nisa just posted the leak, y'all. Y'all gotta read it. Mm-hmm. Child. It's too much, honey. This stuff got to be. It's too many people. It's too. It's too many people saying the same thing. Like, yes, I I didn't see it, but I heard that they said a lady named Sloan Bella, a psychic, said that this was gonna happen in March, babe. I'm telling y'all, I was up to three o'clock in the morning reading all into this. I haven't seen the interview yet. I plan on watching it tonight. I was committed to coming on here at nine thirty with y'all, but they say that lady said that this was gonna happen in March, y'all, baby. I did, and I don't think it's nothing wrong if you're a, 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 a you know a homosexual, a gay man. I don't think it's nothing wrong with that. I what I have a problem with is men who be hiding and faking and being in the closet. Like if you like boys, you like boys. Like I don't like when they be hiding. That's my problem. I don't like that. Or when you got a whole wife or a family and child and um uh Stevie J when he had them two T five like that, he did not have on no protection, honey. With that white man, no protection. Sips tea. Child. Yeah. If you bet if you gay, be gay. Don't lie about it. Don't do that. That's my problem with it. I don't baby. I love the gays, honey. I love them. I just don't like these undercovers. And that's what I told Nisi. I said everybody need to go down about them kids. Now that about them underage kids. And everybody keep talking about, oh, y'all trying to tell black man. Now, I don't give a fuck if he was purple, baby. I, you sleeping with churn? That's a no for me. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. Them other, what you, that's, he kind of sick. You want to sleep with me? Little churn? Like, that's kind of sick. It's something wrong with him. It's, it's something wrong. It's something wrong with him, y'all. Y'all really got to. Nisa been trying to tell me about this, y'all, and I did not start reading until all this shit until last night when it hit the fan, baby. Y'all see, baby, Stevie J was laying up in that bed, hitting that man like he was on my own woman, honey, like this. I said, I said, oh, no. Nisa dropped the link in the chat. I said, that's definitely Stevie J, baby. He can't, baby, he, baby, we know them teeth. We know them beaver teeth. We know them. We know them teeth, child. Yeah. What they calling them freak off parties, child. And this is all alleged. This is all alleged. I don't want nobody to come shut my channel down. This is just my opinion that that was definitely Stevie J in those photos. It is my opinion that that was definitely Meek Mill and Diddy on that video. And child, y'all, I don't know if I can say this on here, but y'all heard me talking about, oh, I can't even say it. Like he was a woman. I mean, he said some stuff I tell my husband. I was disgusted, honey. I was disgusted, child. I was disgusted. You hear me? Hey. I seen he said it was him, and he lying. He, I, child, when you got money, you could cover. I seen that guy. That guy don't look nothing like him. That did y'all see? The, did anybody else see the picture? That is Stevie J. Did y'all see them teeth? That is Stevie J. Wait, you want to see? I want to see what you're talking about. Nisi dropped the link in there. What do you mean I want to see? I want to see what you're talking about. I just told you Nisi dropped the link, the document link. I said, mm mm. You said the same thing. That was Stevie. We know them teeth. Baby laid back hitting that man. Child. Child. Yeah, they paid him. They paid that man to come up and say that. 
Child, I said, ooh, uh, allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, child. We talk about Diddy and all this stuff. What you think about Diddy? Because I think Diddy, Diddy, and that's sick. He's sick. You know, we laughing and joking, but that's sick. That's sick. You got to copy and paste it. You're not going to be able to click it. You're going to have to copy and paste the link, y'all. You're not going to be able to just click it. Child, she going to keep... But, baby, uh, Carisha all in the documents, too, baby. They say she know about it. Uh, the, the head, the CEO of Motown, with her name, Ethiopia. Child, Diddy done had everybody. All the women and all the men. Baby, Diddy, Diddy done been around. Diddy done been money and power, baby. Money and power. Baby, they say he, um, y'all seen how he, um, him and his son shot that boy in that bathroom and the police knew he shot that boy in the bathroom. You clearly see the the pictures is in the document. The bloody bathroom, the blood all on the toilet seat on the ground where the boy got shot and the police wrote it off as a drive-by that the boy got shot outside. Now tell me money ain't power. Tell me money ain't power, child. Thank you, girl. Hmm. Girl, that's what the people keep saying. Jay-Z next. Jay-Z next. Jay yeah, she she know about it. She was she was in it for the check. She was getting that money. Carisha cousin is in the paperwork, honey. Yeah, they say they you know they say he had allegedly he had Kim killed when she said she was gonna do that tell-all. Now that was suspicious to me, honey. How Kim got how Kim just died. Honey, how that, that healthy woman just died when she said she was finna come out with a tell-all book. That's very suspicious. Sips more tea. Hmm. You know what else is suspicious? Child, let me hush. But y'all seen his son, Quincy, and y'all seen his old security guard, Wolf, that died. Hmm. That ain't that ain't Diddy's son. That's Wolf's son. That little boy look just like Wolf, baby. She done got away with that lie for years, honey. That is not his son. That little boy look just like his security guard. Y'all got to Google the security guard. His name is Wolf. Baby, Quincy look from the nose to the eyes, everything. That is not his son. That's Wolf's son. I'm telling y'all. I ain't no conspiracy theories, but I'm telling y'all. Child, you know women is sneaky. They get away with a lot of shit. We some sneaky creatures. No Quint, um, I mean, um, not Quincy, um, what his name? Not Quincy, y'all. Quincy, I'll be sure, son. What his name? Chris, no, what is his name? Justin, Justin, not Quincy, Justin, y'all. Justin, Justin, that's Justin, not Quincy. Let me correct that, Justin. Yeah, that's Wolf's son, honey. Mm. Yeah, Justin. Oh, y'all, I'll be sure. Did y'all see what I'll be sure posted yesterday? Honey, baby, that man said he was basically allegedly saying that when he was finna come out with his tell all book, he got sick. Baby, y'all gotta go to his page. The doctor was on there vouching for him how he was definitely ill out of nowhere. That man is allegedly saying that did it poison him, honey. Hmm. Y'all better stay woke. That man was finna die when he was finna come out on Diddy. Child. Hmm. Sips more tea. I believe it, honey. People be keep talking about oh, they're trying to tell a black man down, honey. Yeah, you would be trying to tell a black man down if there was your underage child in there, too. Yes, you would. Yeah. Yes, you would. Huh. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, honey. This is a mess. I love y'all too, but this is a mess, baby. Did it just as gay as the sky's blue? And he ain't even cute. That's what I said. I said he ain't even cute. But you know, child, you know us when it when a um when a ninja got money, we don't care about if they cute or not, baby. We see the money. Uh, myself included. I ain't finna cap. We don't care about that. My old self, we don't care about that. Child, it's a mess. We see the dollar. The money will make a, a ninja real cute quick. Keep it real. I don't know why. I don't think he lied about his son. I think the lady lied to him and told him that was his son. 
And you know, sometimes a man will fall so in love with the children that he don't want to know the truth. I've seen that happen in real life. A man know it ain't his baby, but he don't want the embarrassment or the hurt. So he will go along with the lie because he don't want to feel that pain. And I done seen that happen in real life. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, about Quincy Stan with his daddy. But y'all know what? I think it's more to that story. Y'all don't understand how much power Diddy had. I really think, I really think they're trying to drive this narrative like I'll be sure did not want hit that baby. But y'all just don't want y'all start really deep diving into these documents. Diddy had power. That man said he was comfortable with killing his own mama. He told that man, if I kill my own mama, what you think I'll do to you? Hmm. Sip some more tea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, child. Yeah. Dad, yeah, this a mess, honey. Yeah. Baby, I was down a rabbit hole for hours, honey. I couldn't go to sleep. I was like this. And crazy part about it is Nisi being trying to tell me about this. Yeah, he real sick. Any man, any man attracted to a, a child, it's something wrong in your head, baby. Because I don't even care. I, I don't even like a man if a man tell me like oh she 18 she legal that's that's a red flag to me because as a grown man you shouldn't even want no 18 year old what you and the 18 year old got in common the intellect and the conversation ain't even there mm -mm. Mm -mm. yeah you right my 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 honey my 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 mm -mm. this is child oh it, oh oh did it finna take the fall for everybody baby everybody finna tell on his ass he, he, <laughs> everybody finna tell on him. Yeah, he's going down, baby. He need to go down, but you want to sleep with churn, child, please. That's sick. And men, you sick, baby. You got to get you some help. He got to get some help, honey, because this a mess, honey. Y'all really got to do the, um, y'all got to look into it. Y'all got to look into it, baby. They even got the little girl. If y'all look at the um document, they blurred the, the girls out. But the man is even showing you where the underage girls were, baby. And the um all the big weird people, I can't think of the name right now. The lady KK, honey, they was bringing the little girls. They were soliciting the girls. Baby, he go to the strip club and go get the scripples and prostitute them, honey. And he say, um, put on your bad boy hat, baby. When the man walk in the strip club with his bad boy hat, baby, the girls know to start selling pussy. Baby, I'm telling you, they know to start selling pussy when the boy had on the bad boy hat. Child, it's a mess. Hmm. It's a mess. It's a mess, honey. Child, I don't know where the twins at. I don't know, but they say the, the boys was released today. I don't know. Yeah, that's real nasty, honey. Yeah. Money is power, yeah. He got away with it, but baby, he done pissed somebody off. He done pissed somebody off up top. And baby, it's going down. Yeah, baby, they say he had cameras in every room. Baby, did you going down because you... Stevie J did not even know he was on that video. He did not know that Diddy recorded him. Baby, you going down, baby. That is a crime. You is going down, Diddy, baby. Y'all see his ass walking, pacing at that um at that Miami airport yesterday. His life was flashing before his eyes, honey. I done been there before, honey. I done got in some trouble. I started thinking about all the shoulda, coulda, wooders. Hmm. Too late. Yeah, and he, that's what I said. I said, how you just leave your churn? What kind of man just leave his kids like that, baby? I'm going to just have to go to jail before I leave my kids. <laughs> That's crazy. That's real crazy, honey. I ain't even got no more tea to sip. Hmm. That's crazy. He done made somebody mad. Yeah, child. Baby, he was looking sick. He was looking sick, baby. He was walking around. Y'all got to go watch the video, baby. He looked like he was crying. Baby, one of them um sites had done... Zoomed in on his face, baby. I bet you he is crying. You like me and you're going to the right place, Diddy. You like me and you're going to be in heaven. You're going to the right place. Baby, they rated, they rated Miami, L.A. And I thought, I thought they said, hold on, let me go back to my documents, honey. Yeah, now he talking about the, um, 
He talking about the feds set him up. We knew he was going to say that, child. We knew, yeah, New York. We knew he was going to say that, baby. We knew he was going to try to say they set him up. Now he finna say this is all AI, it ain't him. But honey, I heard him. <laughs> baby, he was getting it. Mm -mm -mm. Baby, he was getting it, honey. And uh, Meat Mill was in there just squilling like a woman. I say, child. Baby, I can't even get that out of my ears. And then y'all know what? I'm finna get into the Q&A, but I gotta say this, girl. And I went back and I started looking at Meat Mill mannerisms. Y'all, if you really pay attention, he has very feminine mannerisms. Like, go watch some videos of Meat Mill, honey. But y'all know also... If y'all pay attention, Nicki Minaj been dropping little hints for a while. She been dropping hints, honey. She been saying about these undercover men. Yeah, he is, baby. He was, they was wrong for raiding his house. Child, please. Child, please. You was a pervert. You want to sleep with little girls. You a pervert. And that's so crazy because, Diddy, you can have any woman in the world you want. Why you want little girls? That's crazy. That's crazy. Child, you got to go watch me, Mill, honey. I was studying him. He got the wrong, baby. He got womanly man, his hands and stuff. Mm -mm. And how him and Diddy had on matching outfits and stuff, baby. I say, child. Mm -mm. It was too much for me. It was too much, honey. This is a big mess. This is a big mess. I, yeah. But y'all know what? I feel like Diddy done had time. This been going on since Cassie. I feel like they gave him too much time. Like, he done cleaned. I don't think they really gonna find nothing. Because they say that um the IT had an IT guy working for him. And child, Diddy had enough time to get rid of a lot of stuff, but he messed up when he had that man living in his house. That man got a lot of videos. That man got the sex tape videos. That man got a lot of stuff. So, well, in the documents, what I read was he said that it was nothing about him being sexual with TD Jakes. He said that he was going to use his relationship with TD Jakes to like make himself look better in the Cassie situation. So try to make himself look like a Christian a Christian man. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. I was sad that I said, oh, they gonna off Gene. I said that girl, the old security guard, Gene talking too much. Gene said he sent Usher to the hospital. Gene said he bust his anus wide open, allegedly, when Usher was a child. And I got a problem with Usher mama. Why you let your little 13, 14 year old son move in with this grown man? Why? Why? Because they say he was um he was sleeping with um Usher too. That's that's crazy, honey. Your G man slinging all the tea, baby. Oh, Cuba Good and Junior, he's gay. He's gay as the sky's blue, honey. Cuba Good and Junior gay. Baby, they got Cuba Good Junior in the um in the picture, baby. With he wrapping his arm around the man, baby, trying to coerce that man into having sex with him. Allegedly. Allegedly, child. Oh, baby, yes, Cuba Good Good, Cuba Good Jr. Gay, and he's a uh he's a pervert too. Y'all know he got plenty of lawsuits against him from um trying to um sexually assault women, honey. And child that man say he grabbed his groin. Baby, go look at the document. You'll see Cuba Good Jr. picture in there wrapping his arm around that man. I say, honey. You seen it? Okay, girl. Tell the people I ain't lying. Tell the people I ain't lying, honey. Allegedly. I seen it, baby. I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning, honey. Yeah, I ain't know he was gay either. I did not know he was gay. Yeah, but I just feel like she should have never had him there in the first place. I think she saw a money sign. And mm -mm, I ain't no way I would have let my little child like maybe go to like a little um boot camp or something. But honey, the move your little thirteen year old boy in up with that man and, and uh, um didn't have rumors surrounding him for years. 
Ciao. I say ciao. Ciao. No, it's not. It's 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 not. It's not gossip, baby. It's facts. It's facts. It's facts. And I really hate that's and that's why a lot of women don't come forward and people be saying, "Oh, why you don't say so?" Because people be quick to say, "Oh, you know, like oh, it's gossip or oh, that's hearsay." When a woman come forward and say a man sexually assaulted him, and that's and that's and that's something I really don't like that. And we as us, we do that. We we the ones do that. Like no, like don't do that. Like I believe everything Cassie said. Um, Audrey O'Day being trying to talk about this. Daddy D came. I believe them people. And anybody who um who want to sleep with um churn, I'm definitely gonna speak about it because that yeah. And if you don't like it, baby, you might want to exit stage left. Cause I don't got nothing good to say about nobody that wanna sleep with churn. I don't got nothing to say. Yeah, I believe they telling the truth. Yeah, from making the band. People being speaking up. And people make people not want to speak up by doing stuff like that. Saying, oh, y'all want to tell a black man down. Baby, a black man told himself down. The black man told himself down, baby. No, no, no. I, I believe her. I'm never going to tell a woman that come forward and say, you know, she being sexually assaulted or something and say, oh, that's gossip or that's hearsay. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That's why women don't come forward. Speaking from somebody who I was a rape victim. No, ma'am. And that's just something you don't do. No. Yeah. Little fun fact you might not know about me. I'm very passionate about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, let me um I done got real passionate, honey. Let me get to these questions. Let me find these questions. Hold on. Hey. No, for real. I don't like when people do that. I don't. I really don't. That's why women be scared to come forward and tell their story. Then we going on a little trip, honey. Oh, yeah. I can't stand when people do that. Keep it in the house. I can't stand that. I can't stand it. That's how little kids be getting molested and stuff, child. Keeping it in the house. But, honey, let me go on. So, first, the first, the first question is, a lot of y'all, um, Chantel, so this one, of, could you provide a guide, a tutorial? So, if y'all check, so I spoke about this in a lot of videos, and if y'all check the description box, thank you. I, I have a pin, the video pin, where I thoroughly went into detail on how to start a cleaning business, literally step by step. So if y'all just check the description box, the video is there. Is the live is still up? I went over that literally step by step, and it's always like I started probably maybe like three or four videos back. I start making sure that it's always in the description box, so you can always watch that. Live at any time. I mean, yeah, that live at any time. It was a live I did, and um, I think it was yeah, it was titled um Q and A, and literally step by step it breaks it down how to start a cleaning business. So I don't really want to go off over that again because I done talked about that so many times, and I know some of y'all knew, but I done talked about that so many times. Y'all just gotta go back and watch that video. But basically, long story short, get you an EIN that's free. Um, go to um if you're in Florida, go to sunbiz.org, get you a name. I think it's like get you a L I recommend an LLC. Don't do a sole proprietorship, get an LLC. I think it's like two, how much was it? Like 250, maybe 275. I'm not sure, but yeah. 
And then if you if you still lost after that and you still need some help, just um email me. Just email me. Okay. If you still have more questions about the cleaning business, but I definitely do I recommend it. Yes, I definitely I definitely recommend it. It's um extra income. And I feel like in 2024, you need like you can't just um having a car. I'm talking about a car. <laughs> Just having one um source of income is like you're not it's gonna be very hard to make it with inflation and the way everything went up. You just need you need like more than one source of income. So a cleaning business is a great way to get started. I would say you probably need about a thousand dollars to get started. Good a thousand dollars. Um good night, baby. All right. Um What is your routine? You have a family, YouTube, work, house, self-maintenance, etc. How do you do it? I enjoy your vlogs. Thank you. This is Tori. Huh? I don't know if y'all want me to say y'all name. But um, I just do it. I don't know. I just do it. I know that I know what needs to be done. I think that if you have a will, if you have a will to do it, you'll get it done. Um, A lot of times, like, I... I won't want to say a lot of times, most of the time, I'm always thinking about my children. And I know that the life that was afforded to me by my parents, and I want to give my kids the same experience. So on days that I don't want to get up or I'm tired or I want to, you know, just be lazy, I know that I got to get it done. I know the type of lifestyle that I want to live. I know the type of things that I want to have. So, you know, I get it done. I know goals I want to accomplish. I know me being lazy or me not you know, working to my full potential or doing everything I can, it won't get me nowhere. And then y'all know me just losing everything. Like that's a very humbling experience. Like I don't wish that on nobody, but losing it, literally everything. It was to the point where at one point I didn't even have $25, like no cap. Like I literally lost everything. And me being 37 years old, I hadn't been to my mom for help in years, in years, over 10 years. And when I had to go back and ask my mama for help, that's something that I didn't want to have to do again. So, yeah, I had, you know, when you went, like you say, when there's a will, there's a way. You got to want it. I tell everybody this. I can give you the guy. I can give you the blueprint, um, but you got to want it. You got to want it for yourself. And if you want it bad enough, you're going to do it. If you want it bad enough, you're going to do it. Like, you're going to make it. And it don't even have to be a cleaning business, anything. Um, And it don't even, like, whatever you want to do, like, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do to be successful, do it. Like, just do it. Just, you, it's mind over matter. Every day is mind over matter. You tired? All right. Mind over matter. Get up. Keep going. You want to hang out with your friends? But, hey, that'll come later. You got to go get this money. I done missed a lot of events. I done had to sit out on a lot of stuff. But y'all seen it firsthand. I was able to pull myself out the mud. So I ain't telling y'all something. Like a lot of people might speak on something they never been through. I'm telling y'all. Y'all seen me lose everything and work myself back up. So, yeah, you got you definitely got to miss some stuff. And that's okay. And that's okay. You know, it's it'll come back around. And them same friends, if they're friends, they'll still be there. They'll still be there. But it could be done. I tell you, I ain't no different from nobody. Nobody. I ain't no different. I'm the same. I ain't got no, no one up on y'all, nothing. I'm the same as y'all. So if I could do it, y'all could do it. Um, Let me see. Oh, <laughs> this one made me tickle. This was this tickled my fancy. It says, do you have any advice for step step parents with a messy ex-wife still trying to make the adult kids hate me? Now we're having a grandchild and she's even worse. Baby, honey, honey, when I tell you I laughed, I laughed at that. <laughs> so I don't know if, I don't know. Hey, I could just answer as me. I only could be me. Um, I feel like if you've tried your best and you know you've tried your best, hey, baby, at some point, 
you got to say, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You got to step back and say, fuck it. Hey, I would tell my husband, you know, I done, I done did everything I can. And if the children are of a certain age, you know, if they little kids, of course, they're impressionable. But if they old enough to know better and they still know their mama foolishness, hey, it is what it is. You can tell your son, I mean, your son, your husband, hey, baby, them your kids. I try to love your kids as our kids. But you can't, you can't force nothing. You know what I'm saying? You cannot force it. And when you're dealing with somebody who's bitter, child, ain't nothing. You really could, you in a lose lose situation. And I ain't finna, I'm not gonna buy nobody love. I'm not finna do none of that. Like it is what it is. Like I will genuinely accept you with open arms and we could be a blended family. But if it got to be the drama and this or that, or the mama trying to put you against them, then baby, you gotta. Leave it alone. You know you tried to. If you could go to sleep at night, you know that you done tried your best, and you done did everything you can. That's up now. now that's up to him now. You know that don't mean he can't have a relationship with his kids, but you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Like especially if they're like disrespectful. I don't know if the kids are disrespectful. I don't know if you're on the live. Are the kids disrespectful? Like I don't know, but I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta. What my grandma used to say, let uh, turn. I don't forgot how it go, but yeah, you basically gotta let go and let God. And I'm speaking from experience. Like you just, it get to a point. Well, ain't nothing you could do. Ain't nothing you could do. And you can't care what people think. Cause first thing a bitch will say, oh, you know, oh, he over there with her. He'll care about his kids, not knowing the backstory, not knowing the drama, not knowing the. It just be a lot. So you can't even really care. What you say, and, and you're right. Some kids will try to ruin the relationship, they really will. You're right about that, Vicky. They really will. But I feel like if you and your husband strong, then y'all can make it. Like, you, like, I don't know. I can speak for my husband. My, my husband gonna have my back. I don't know about nobody else. I know my husband gonna have my back. So, y'all gotta be a unit, and they gotta know that can't nobody. Come in between y'all. You gonna respect my wife. You gonna respect my husband. This what it is. Like I want to be your. If it, even if it's a, the mom, I want to be the mom. I want to be the daddy. But this is also my wife. So you gotta respect it. Hey, yeah. And it also comes down to what you allow. Exactly. Exactly. Leave them where they at. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Hey, baby, then you can't kill what nobody say. You know you did everything you can, child. Yeah, you, yeah, you can. I'm going to go through these questions first, and then you can ask me questions on the live. So just don't ask it now because I'm going to miss it. Yep. Yep, let them go. That's all you could do. Let them go. All right. Will you ever think about um doing a one-on-one -on -one YouTube coaching? I'm actually, I'm actually thinking about that, y'all. I'm actually, I actually, that's something that I actually been thinking about because I'm very passionate about YouTube. So that's just something I've, I've been thinking about. And a lot of people do come to me with advice. And I I like helping. Like I like teaching y'all and helping y'all. And I like seeing y'all channels grow. So yeah, I'm thinking about that. Um, I do got a lot of stuff going on right now, but that's definitely something that I could see myself doing later this year. So definitely stay focused. Stay, I'm talking about stay focused. <laughs> stay here. You stay tuned. Um, let me see. Let me see. What salon does your braids? Please, I need. The express lane. <laughs> so I went to Lean In African Hair, African Hair Brady. It's on Bland and 103rd in Jacksonville, Florida. They are definitely fast. And I would, I don't suggest going on like a Friday or a Saturday. Of course, those are popular days. I would go sometime during the week. Baby, you be in and out. One time I was in and out in three hours. So definitely recommend. They are fast, hunty. All right, let me go see what's the next one. I'm 
Okay, so basically this question is, she said, hey, love, I'm planning on moving to Jacksonville, Florida within the next year, and I'm planning on buying a home there. She wants to know um, what's the best part of Jacksonville. I mean, I definitely have a realtor that I could connect you with. Of course, my question is going to be biased because I'm a West Side girl. Um, and it also depends on your budget. So if you're in the live, tell me your budget. But um, I would say like, so Jacksonville encompasses, we okay, so we encompass a lot of stuff when we say Jacksonville because you got Oak Leaf, which is not really Jacksonville. Um, you got St. John's County. Um, so you got, um, even St. Augustine has really nice houses. It all, it just depends on your budget. Like it just depends on how much money you want to spend. But I would say definitely, um, you got like the airport area on the North side is really good and up and coming. They have a really not like a lot of nice new construction homes. The West side Mandarin is definitely a good area. Um, if you like, um, old money, baby, Mandarin five points, all that, um, good areas. But I'm a West Side girl. Now, certain parts of the West Side, no. But definitely look into Oak Leaf. Um, the taxes is high out here, Oak Leaf. The taxes are a lot higher. Thank you. Mayport Beaches is good too, baby. That's why I say I need to know her budget, honey, because, baby, you got money. You out there in Mayport Beaches. I got to know the budget, baby. Mm -mm, it all depends on the budget. But email me, and we could talk about it. But those areas I just named, baby, you just want to stay away from Addis, all right? Don't go Addis. You want to stay away from Addis, I swear. <laughs> Bartram Trail is really, really nice. Bartram Trail is really nice, y'all. So, yeah, just, I was, I, it's better off for me to tell you the areas to stay away from than to tell you the areas to go to. <laughs> but, um, what you think, nice? What else? Nice. Boo from Addis, he over here hollering about Addis. He from Addis, child. I'm up Uptown Addis, whatever, child. Yeah, we did, we did choose a house, y'all. Oh, I, I said I wasn't gonna tell. Y'all got me on here spilling the beans. Look at you, that got me on here spilling the beans, child. I said I wasn't gonna tell. Yeah, me and Boo did pick a house. That's all I'm saying. Yes, I. Well, we did we pick a house. We think we've picked the house. I think I may take y'all on um on one more house hunt. I think I'm gonna take y'all on one more house hunt. But honey, I read that thing so fast and I done spilled the tea, honey. And I ain't even got no more tea to spill. Child, that's how I told y'all y'all my friend girl. And we ain't even stopped me. He could have kicked my leg or something. But where your son went to school at? Hey, good evening. Welcome to the live from Tampa, Florida. Commonwealth is not a good part of the West Side. No, ma'am. No, she said she dated someone from Commonwealth. Big mistake. I wonder what's that, boo brother. <laughs> boo got a lot of brothers. How many brothers you got? Boo got about you 40 for real. Boo got a lot of brothers, child. You like the house hunt videos? I love house hunt. I don't know much about Palm Beach. What you got? To, you know about Palm Beach? West Palm, Palm Beach. Beach. Is West Palm Beach or just Palm Beach? Oh, Edward Waters. Who? Oh, no, I'm answering something else. Um, you know I got ADHD. Edward. No, she was saying her son went to Ed Waters. They, I think they done made Ed Waters a university now. Is it a university? I think it might be a university now. Yeah, that's the hood. The Edward Waters in the hood, honey. Yeah, well, what is this in the hood, baby? All right, go study Esquire. I know that's right, baby. Esquire. Um, she said West Palm Beach. That's like Miami, right? Yeah, West Palm Beach. Boo say that's Boo say certain parts of West Palm Beach is the um rich part. Good, you like that, girl. But he says some of it's hood. I'm def I've definitely thought about um getting into real estate. I definitely have because I'm I, I'm very knowledgeable, y'all. I like it. I like real estate. I tried to ask when Boo and I first got together, I tried to get him to go into real estate. And he didn't want to. Now he see the money that we slept on. Now he want to do it. But 
it's okay. Like we went and we followed, we did something he wanted to do. And that's okay. It's okay to follow your husband sometimes, you know. Um, we opened the shop instead of going into real estate. And that's okay. I think I'll be good at it too. Montgomery, Alabama. I boo when you locked up in Alabama. Mississippi. Mississippi. Oh. Hey girl. Thank you. Would y'all buy a house for me? Would y'all buy a house for me or no? Y'all think I'm too rough? Do y'all think I'm too rough around the edges? He talking about yes. Boo say I'm rough. <laughs> I know how to be real professional, okay? I do know how to be real professional. You would buy a house for me? Girl, I ain't get I ain't get um boo no tackle box. I did not get him no tackle box, y'all. She said, no, I'm not. Not at all. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Bavana. Thank you. <laughs> I like, baby, the only thing I know about Tampa is the casino. That's the only thing I know. I don't know. I did. We did look at houses in Tampa, though, and Tampa was a little pricey, but maybe it was the area, like, what it was, St. Pete? I don't know. It was a little, oh, baby, hold on, child. It's going fast. Now, hold on. Thank you. You think I'm authentic? Thank you. Thank you. You will buy. Okay, so I want all y'all when I pop out and tell y'all I got my real estate license. Yeah. So that's what's going to set me apart, y'all. I already got this in mind. Okay, let, here I go spilling some more tea. So I already got it in my mind and I'm going to be a real estate um, agent. But what's going to set me apart is, y'all, I'm going to offer credit, offer credit repair because I've done it three times. I fixed my credit. I've done it. People be paying all these agencies to do shit they could do themselves. So, yeah, I really think that's what's going to set me apart, which it is some realtors that do help with that, but I'm going to offer my clients credit repair. I know exactly what you need to do. I know exactly what your credit report need to look like. I have purchased three homes, so I know exactly what you need to do. So, yeah. Yeah. Y'all will see. Just stay tuned. You'll buy one from me, Court? Just stay tuned. Where did you and Boo meet? Melbourne, Florida. I don't know about Melbourne. Hmm. Yes, I think that's a really good service to offer because a lot of people come into the house buying process blind. It's a lot of stuff they don't know. So I think that's a really great service to offer. Oh, you finally got my notification for the live. Oh, your husband be watching me too. Hey, girl. Hey, husband. You have you haven't taken the test yet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get licensed in multiple states, not just Florida, y'all. I plan on being licensed in multiple states, so y'all really gotta stay tuned for this. I'm also y'all. I got a lot, so let me just go and spill a lot of tea, y'all. I'm also Boo wants to send me to school to be a um, general contractor. So y'all, if y'all watch Love and Marriage Huntsville, um, that's what like Melanie Sheree, um, Letitia. They have general contracting license and they're millionaires. They eat, baby. So as a uh, um, and I know I have um, you know, I, I have a, a wide based audience, but as for us minorities, there's a lot of money that can be made for us in that business. So y'all need to look into that. I ain't no gate people for real. You ebony e b o n e y on. Child, these questions moving so fast. I hope I ain't um, from Texas. Hey, girl. Yeah, the money definitely in now. Okay, so she said, where did you and Boo meet? Who talked to who first? I want to see you tell the story. Katie, give me some more tea. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm thinking about doing mentorship. So when I do my one-on-one, -on -one, I think I want to include like mentorship as well because I feel like... Some of these people be offered services through shit they never been through. Y'all have physically seen me lose every dime I had and make my way out. So I'm finna answer the question. So they know I got ADHD. Thank you. I love you too. No, I'm going to be licensed in multiple states, not just Florida. Um, thank you. You've been here since the VSG. Oh, she in Huntsville, honey. Yes, ma'am. Huntsville, Alabama. Yes. Okay, so I'm finna go through 
Yeah, y'all can start asking me questions. I think I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna read off by five more questions on here, and then y'all can start asking me questions. What kind of juicy questions you want to ask me, brother? Go answer your ask your juicy question. What kind of juicy question you want to ask? Yes, I'm gonna definitely tell him it's nasty. What kind of question you want to ask me? <laughs> okay, so me and Boo met through. You see, that's your auntie. No, that's your cousin. So I was at my godson's birthday party one day, and um, she was sitting around talking about her cousin, which was Boo, and um, she, I think she was telling me like, like how he used to always go to Jamaica or something, and I don't know. I was just intrigued, and I was like, girl. So at the time. My ex-husband and I, we was, like, really going through a rough patch. Like, we was living in the same house, but we wasn't even sleeping in the same rooms. And I wanted to leave, but I just didn't have the willpower to leave. And to be honest with y'all, I give Boo all the credit. I feel like if I would have never met Boo, I would have never left that bad situation. First of all, it's only 129 likes. I need y'all to go ahead and run them lights up before I tell y'all this tea. So go ahead and run the lights up. Because Boo's sitting right here, too. You want to tap in on the story? I got receipts, honey. What Mariah said, bring the receipts. Because I still got the first message we ever had. I still got the receipts. How often do you think intercourse is... Okay, I'm going to come back to that question. What? I like that question. I like that, Rubble. Oh, this finna get good. I need all the people who easily offended to go ahead and leave the live, baby. I'm going to give y'all a few minutes. I'm gone. I need y'all to go ahead and leave the live because this finna get good. <laughs> this finna get good, honey. Brother, I like your questions. Go ask me another one. Hey, Miss Sandra Gordon, how you doing? Okay, so let me finish um, answering the question. You staying? <laughs> I'm staying too, bitch. <laughs> okay, so... We met through the cousin. I said, I, I was like, oh, I want to meet him. So, y'all, at the time, I was big, y'all. I That's when when I met Boo, I was 289. So, girl, how about she going to tell me, talk about some, um, I'm going to um, show him your face. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why you laughing, Boo? So, she said, um. I'ma show um I'm gonna show him your Facebook. Like basically saying, I'm gonna show him your Facebook, make sure he wanted to talk to me, right? So I think she had not told him like um she a BBW, but she bad or she cute or something. What she told you? She said something like she a BBW, but she cute. So honey, y'all, why boo had not slid on over to my page, checking out my profile. Y'all know Facebook will tell you when somebody came to your page, child. He was going through my pictures and he um so she gave me his number. I didn't call him. So he inboxed me and I should, I, do I need to pull up the inbox right now? Do I need to pull it up, boo? He inboxed me and he was like, why you ain't used that number yet? And I was like, I will. So I still didn't, um, I still didn't call and he ended up calling Man, me. You, you blowing my phone. I Man, need to stop <laughs> I will never forget. Boo called me. I was at Lakeside Nursing Home with my grandma. I was sitting, I was sitting right next to my grandma at Lakeside Nursing Home, and Boo called me. And y'all, when I heard Boo's voice, I was like, "Oh, y'all!" Cause he got this real deep, raspy voice. Y'all know y'all be hearing him. And baby, that turned me on, honey. And I was like, "Oh." And I remember we talked on the phone. But y'all, let me tell y'all, he was a liar. Oh, honey, he was a liar. He had about 10 of us. So, um, I ain't no here we go. The people want, don't y'all want to know the truth? <laughs> don't y'all want to know the truth? Okay. So, um, baby, he used to lie to me, honey. And he had no, I'll never forget y'all. We had no set up a date, honey. And do y'all know Boo did not show up for the motherfucking date? And this Hello. man told me. He was in um he told me he was in my he told me he was in Miami. Let me tell y'all, so let me tell y'all how dumb I am. Child, that man had not told me he had not rolled to Miami why he couldn't come to the date. 
Y'all, when that man boo, he was in the motherfucking halfway house. How the hell you wrote to Miami? It was me believing it. Y'all know what he was at? With another girl. He was with another girl. He was with another girl, honey. Child, he was with another girl. I need y'all to get I need y'all to give me 10 more likes so I can tell y'all the rest of the story. I need 10 more likes. 10 more likes so I can tell y'all the rest of the story. 10 more likes. It ain't moving. It ain't moving. 10 more likes. Uh, boo, come back. <laughs> Child, so yeah, so after he sent me up that first day, I was like, boy, fuck you. So, child, I don't know, some kind of way I ended up. Okay, thank you, girl. Y'all see, he got up and walked away. He did, girl. You seen him? He did, girl. Because I'm finna let y'all know the tea, honey. So, child. So, girl, some kind of way, he done went, me and Ryan ended up, me and my best friend Ryan went right there to his house, girl. And when I got that boo hat, he had like this, he had this big old house, child. He thought he was going to wow me. He had this big old nice house. Anthony's been there, honey. Anthony's telling about the house. He had this big old house and child. And I seen him, baby, and I was like, because I had no, oh, I'm lying, y'all. Let me run it back. So I met up with him. I met up with him. So after we talked on the phone that day with my grandma, we were supposed to go on a date. He stood me up. Then I ended up meeting up with him. I met him at one of my, so I met him through a friend, and we met at her house. And child, I, he, girl, matter boo, bring your ass here. He, he stood me up. I ain't want to say he stood me up, but he was late again that day. He was with another woman. Y'all, he was with another bitch that day, too. Bring your ass back here. Y'all, so I'm I'm over there waiting on him. I never forget, child. I had to did my hell, y'all. I had me a cute frontal. Baby, I thought I was cute. You hear me? So I'm over there waiting on him, child. I'm calling his phone. I'm like, I'm here. He done gave me the address because my friend had just moved in a new house. And I ain't no, so I, he had a game in the address. I'm like, I'm outside, girl. I'm calling him. Girl, the, the ninja stopped answering the phone. Now, y'all know we know what that means. He stopped answering the damn phone, girl. So I'm sitting there. Mind you, when I supposed to met him, when I put up around there, I met him. We were supposed to be going on a date. So him, my little dumb ass is giving him another second chance after he done stood me up. So I'm around there. We supposed to be going on a date, child. I'm sitting there working. Girl, let me tell you, he turned it around now. You got to stay tuned for the story. So, girl, girl, yeah, tell me he ain't going to end Miami. Girl, you you live, you in the halfway house. You can't go to no damn Miami. And my dumb ass believed it. So, um, child, y'all, so long story short, I'm finna pull off, y'all. So once me and Boo got, I'm gonna tell y'all how I know he was with a girl. Once we got together, fast forward, he we start, we was the best of friends. He started telling me the truth about everything. So child, he pulls up, girl. He pulls up in this old Escalade, child. Music blasting, baby. He hopped out the car, and I seen an old nasty dread, baby. Nasty black and big, like I like him. And I said, oh honey, I could forgive you for being a little late, honey, child. And we went to talking, and Boo is very, um, Boo is very charismatic. Boo is funny. Um, so like, yo, do, do we, you want me to pause the story, Nisi? We do I need to pause? Do I need to pause? Welcome to the EK. So, honey, child, we was talking, baby, and Boo is very, um, what you call it, um. Uh, Arrogant. Boo's very arrogant, honey. Child, and he was just um like in my face, like, yeah, uh, woot, 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 child, honey. And he had me at he had me at hello, honey. I ain't even finna lie. He had me at hello. So, girl, we end up what we did. I think we hung out that night, and then 
we started talking on the phone all day, every day, all night. He used to be in the halfway house. He used to be on the phone, girl, from the time. He was showing off, girl. He was showing out, baby. And he had me. You hear me? So, girl, we used to be talking on the phone. And it was, I ain't going to lie, it was an escape for me because y'all know I was in a bad marriage. And, yeah, I was. So, you know, some people may look at it like I was wrong because I was still legally married. I'm not going to lie. I was. But Boo was my piece, like y'all. He was, he, girl. He was a bit player. Boo was my piece, y'all. He was my piece. Like he is so easy to get along with. He is so funny. Like he had me laughing. He just cool. So like we just gravitated to each other so quick. And I never forget, y'all. Me and my best friend went round up to his, and this when I seen the house, child. Me and my best friend went round up to the house, honey. And he was showing out, showing me the house. And child, honey, he had me a hello again. So, girl, I'll never forget. I, <laughs> one thing about Ryan, baby, she going to ride, honey. Ryan always be my way, man. Baby, she sat downstairs. Me and Boo went upstairs. And she, me and Boo went upstairs to talk. And she sat downstairs. And we just was talking. And we've been together ever since, y'all. Ever since we've been together. So, I hope that answers your question. We met through a cousin. But, honey, I had a girl when I met Boo, like I told y'all, it was about 10 of us. I would say, um, how, yeah, so I would say probably maybe like 60 days in, he started seeing, like, damn, I really like her. Like, he was like, because at the time, y'all, I had a really good job, I was making $30 an hour. I had two cars. I had a charger and I had what was the other? I, I had a charger and I had a Dodge Durango. I own my own house. Like I said, I was making $30 an hour. I was getting big old bonuses. I had money in the bank. Like I was bossed up. Like for real. So he seen that and he was like, Yeah, I like her. Like he liked that I could hold my own. And he always said that, you know, he always met women that needed him and I didn't need him like I wanted him I didn't need him so that was like one of the things that like kind of set me apart and then you know like y'all know I'm just me I don't give like I don't care who I'm just me like I just be me I just I just be me so and he liked that um what was my first impression of boo I ain't gonna lie I was like he is not all that when I first seen his picture, I was like, he is not, I was like, child, he is not all that. I was more, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it real. I was more impressed with Boo's reputation of in our city. I know that's very shallow and young girl mindish. I was more impressed with his reputation. When I seen his picture, I was like, he is not all that. But when I seen him in person, I was like, oh, okay. That's when he had me at hello. Yes, when he had me at hello. But yeah, child, when I seen that Facebook picture, I was like, whatever. Um, did you ever get into an altercation with girls? Did, did y'all know what's so funny? I swear to God, tell Boo to come back in here. Me and Boo was just talking about this today, y'all. So, y'all, I remember one time it was this club. What was the club? Nita, what was the club called over there off of Edgewood? I think it used to be the old bikers club. What was it called? Tipsies, tipsies. Child, me and Boo went out to Tipsies, y'all. So Tipsies had like a little VIP section. And Boo, come here. I want him to vouch for it. Oh, yeah, Boo was a player, child. So Tipsies had like a, but as expected, y'all, when I met Boo, Boo had not just did 10 years of prison. And I even had a conversation with Boo. I said, Boo, are you sure you want to be in a relationship? Because I felt like he shouldn't jump into a relationship. Boo just ended up falling in love with me. Like, he really did just fell, he fell in love with me. Because I felt like Boo should have taken time to be single. You done been locked up for 10 years. Like, you need to take time to be single. I mean, be honest, like, sleep with who you want to sleep with. Because, I mean, we're all adults here. I hope, you know, it's only adults. I did say it's for adults only. Um, And... Like, you know, just like spread your wings, spread your wings, spread your wings, you know, but he wanted to be with me, honey. He, baby, boo, boo did not want to let me go. He wanted to be with me. Yes, it was called Tipsis. So anyway, back to the story, y'all. We had Tipsis 
And we at the little VIP section, so we kind of up. So the, the VIP section is kind of like a little step up, and it got like this little metal bar. So me and pull up there in the VIP, y'all. I'm real cute. Back then, baby, I was um, baby, I had I never forget. I still got the picture. Let me see if I can pull the picture up on my phone and um show y'all. Baby, I had on this Gucci outfit, baby, and I had on my um, y'all know that's when them Gucci like tennis shoe boots had not came out. I had on my Gucci tennis shoe boots, honey. I'm finna find this picture, baby. I was real cute, okay. And I'm just dancing. I'm cute. So it's a girl walked over. Now, mind you, boo, we, we friends, right? We cool as fuck. So he really being honest with me. He telling me about everything. He telling me about the girls. Woo, woo, woo. So y'all know how our, our intuition, we know. I immediately knew who this girl was when she walked up over there. I knew, y'all. It was just something in me I knew. And I swear to God, me and boo was just laughing about this today. Boo, come here. He on the phone, y'all. But so, child, the girl walked up, y'all. She being real extra. Want me to see her. She being real. And she doing all these uh, acrobatics and shit, bitch. We in the club, girl. She, she drunk. I don't know if she was on a pill or what. She was drunk. She just being out extra. So, you know, us women, I'm like, okay. Girl, I, you see me, I see you, we see each other. So I'm playing it cool. I'm playing it cool like, why are you standing in front of our VIP? She just doing all this extra, just like, ugh. I'm just like, okay, so I say, boom. You know this hoe? So y'all know what he said? Y'all know what he said. What y'all think boo said? Comment in the chat. What y'all, I want to know what y'all think boo said. What he said. I'm finna wait. I want to know what y'all think he said. Yep. That's exactly what he said. He talk about no. I said, yes, the fuck you do. She doing too much. Y'all, she was being so extra, y'all. So I said, I said, oh, so I said, you don't know. Also, I said, I'm finna slap this hoe. Y'all, she was just doing, it was very disrespectful. Like, I'm cool. I'm chill, y'all. She was just doing the most, like, I'm talking about she literally doing acrobatics in the goddamn club, girl, throwing her knee all up and shit. So remember I told y'all about the little, the little gold, not the gold, the um, metal rail. She done threw her leg all up on the rail. I'm like, girl. So I don't know what, I don't know what happened. I don't know what, but she ended up walking away. So y'all already, y'all know what happened next, right? I had an attitude, honey. I had an attitude for the rest of the night, baby. And I was like, oh, you know that hoe? Oh, you know that hoe? Y'all, I was like, that's that girl you told me about. Whoop, 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 girl. I just knew. I'm supposed to be finding a picture for y'all. I just knew that was her. Y'all, how about he told me later that that was that damn girl? And I knew it. I knew it was her. I knew it was her. But let me show y'all this picture, baby, because I was real cute, honey. And she was mad, baby. She was mad. You hear me? She was mad, honey. Yeah, I was finna slap her. I, I, and he, baby, he know. He know, honey. He know. Child, I say, ooh, honey. But I got to tell y'all about another. Y'all want to hear about another time a girl tried me? My boo. She was trying to, girl. <laughs> she was trying to give him a private dance or something, honey. Let me find this picture. Girl, I don't know what baby thought, but baby, she was on one. Y'all, this a picture of Boo in the house. Can y'all see this? I can't see myself. Can y'all see this? This a picture he sent me when he, like, we used to just send each other pictures. He was in the halfway house. Can y'all see? That was Boo back in the halfway house. Y'all, we were so in love. We just used to talk on the phone every day. All day. Let me find that picture, honey. We used to club all the time. Like, we used to be in the club so much. We had a ball. Like, when me and Boo first met, we had a ball, honey. We had a ball. This was when I got down real, real small, y'all. I told you, I ain't y'all, I ain't like being that small. I was so small on this picture. I was so, I did not like that. I did not like me that size, y'all. 
even on here, y'all. I hated this. I did not like being this that house, y'all. This was boo house. This that house. I took a picture in, child. This that house, honey. But I'm trying to find that picture. I know Boo got it. Boo! Boo keep all the pictures. Boo! Hold on. Let me call him. But yeah, child. So y'all want to hear about another time? So girl, y'all, how about I'm on Facebook, y'all? So me and Boo done went public on Facebook. Right, we we I I girl I was childish. I used to post pictures with him and put like an email emoji over his face. Y'all know how the little childish girls do. Child, I be thinking back on some stuff like, girl, grow up. So child, I don't post his picture. I don't put a um girl right. I don't put emoji over his face. So we finally decided we gonna go public. I need Boo to come in here because he got all the pictures. So Boo posted a picture of me, child. Y'all, Boo had, like, at the time, you know, Facebook will only allow you to have, I think, like, 5,000 friends. Boo had, like, 5,000 friends. Like, Boo had so many people on his page. So, Boo never, never, ever posted a woman on his page. Never, ever, ever. I was the first woman. Oh, Nisa said pause. I got to pause, y'all. If y'all want to know about this Facebook drama, y'all got to like. Y'all got to like it. Y'all gotta like the y'all gotta like the video, cause this this the T right here, child. Cause this it went down on Facebook. This the T. You did you liked it? All right, we got two hundred one. Come on, y'all. It's eighty two people in here that ain't like it. Two hundred and one of y'all did. It's eighty one people. Okay, we had two hundred seven. Okay. All right, let me keep going. So, child, he had not posted my picture. Let me call Boo, because I want, I be liking y'all to see what I'm talking about. I'm a visual person. So, yeah, I'm finna, yeah, let's move on to the juicy questions. I'm finna finish telling y'all this story. So, child, he posted my picture, and he said, wifey, honey, the bitches came out of woodworks. Do you hear me? Honey, they came out swinging left and right, baby. Girl. That was a mess, honey. You hear me? That was a mess, girl. Girl, say, honey. Girl, I want booze to come in here. Let me call him, y'all. The girl say, how did show wife and you was just with me two weeks ago? Girl. I want his wife for real, y'all. Let me clear that up. For a room, I want his wife. Come, Where you at? Come in here. Oh, come on, because I'm telling this story about how that girl came on, on Facebook. No, you got to come now. Yeah, hang up the phone. <laughs> so, honey, that girl say, um, I, oh, it wasn't even her, y'all. It was, and She probably on this video right now. It wasn't even her. It was her friend, y'all. Her friend say, how that's your wife and you was just with so-and-so two weeks ago? Honey. Baby, my y'all think the E-game don't play. Baby, my friends. Baby, they Twitter fingers went to ooh, child. Come tell, come tell, come tell them about when that girl, when you posted my picture for the first time in the group. Yeah, the people want to know. He don't want to tell y'all. He want to, he don't want to tell y'all. He want to tell y'all. I didn't even say that. I didn't even say that. I didn't even mention that part. <laughs> I did not mention that part. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Y'all, he telling y'all stuff. I wasn't even gonna say. Child. And um child. don't say that. Girls, boys don't say child. <laughs> so y'all, girl, what I was saying. He said, get him five minutes, y'all. Girl, so y'all, my friends, they don't went to argue, baby. Whoop, 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 baby. My friends don't play. When I tell you they went in, I'm in there arguing with the girl. I'm like, I'm like, what? Whoop, 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 girl. I'm mad at boo. I'm like, oh, you gonna let this hoe disrespect me? You gonna let this hoe embarrass me, y'all? I'm like, and that, like, boo had, like, um, I'm telling y'all, he had so many friends. I had two pages. Y'all, people screenshotting it, y'all. We in the arguing. I'm like, oh, so you was with this whole two weeks ago? Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
Baby, the girl dropped the text messages. <laughs> girl, she dropped the text messages. Honey, he couldn't lie. I said, oh, mm, mm, mm. Girl, she dropped the text messages. Girl, he was still talking to the girl. Girl, she had the receipts, honey. She had the receipts. Now, he wasn't at her house, but they was still texting, honey. She had the receipts, honey. But he ended up he ended up coming clean about everything. And, girl, it was like, child, we laugh about it now. But, you know, he had a point. You know, he had a point. I had a point, which I he, he just had a point. Just to have a point, I feel like, um... I really ain't like I was mad, but now in hindsight, it's 2020. Like, boo, like I told y'all, he was just getting out of jail. Like, what do you literally expect? Like, you he this man literally just did a 10-year bid. Like, I would be a fool to think that I was the only girl he was talking to. Let's just keep it a thousand. You know what I mean? And then, like he said, I was still living. He don't know what I was doing when I went home. Cause granted, I could tell I could be telling anything. I was telling him that, you know, we weren't sleeping in the same room, but I was still at night going home, living in the same house with my ex-husband. So I kind of get his point. You know what I mean? Y'all get what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. Like I say, we can laugh about it now, but. Yeah. So yeah, he was real with me. He was real. And that's what I respect. He ended up, we end up telling each other everything. And Boo helped me get out of that, that abusive relationship. Like, I'm telling y'all, he was my peace. He helped me get out. If it wasn't for Boo, I probably would still be in that marriage, y'all. I probably would still be in that marriage. So I don't regret it. I don't. I wouldn't change nothing about it. It was a lot of drama that came behind me and Boo getting together. Me and that friend are no longer friends. Um, it was a lot of unfortunate stuff, but I truly believe that he is for me, and he definitely believes that I'm for him. And you know, a lot of people didn't think. I can't believe y'all. It'll be five years in July. It'll be five years in July, and I cannot believe it's been five years. A lot of people did not think we would make it to this point, and we made it, you know? So, yeah. All right, let's get to these nasty questions. Let's get to these juicy questions. Rubber, where you at? Rubber, did you leave the live? Report to the comment section. Report to the comment section, Rubber. Where you at? Where you at, Rubber? Okay, and anybody and anybody can ask a question. Y'all say y'all want to ask some adult questions. Y'all go ahead and ask the questions. What was rubber question? She had a good one, and I cannot remember. What did she say, Nisi? She had a good question. Hey, y'all, welcome to all the new members. We about to take this up and take this up a little notch. Yeah, everybody do. Okay, so she said, How important is intercourse in a marriage? I think that are, are we gonna keep it 100 or are we gonna keep it 100? I think it is one of, one of the most important things. I honestly, in my opinion, I think it is one of the most important things in a marriage. I don't care who you is. I don't care who you are. You want to feel um when you're in a relationship, marriage, whatever. You want to feel um loved. You want to feel wanted. You want to feel you know that a sexual attraction. Like you, you need that. I think sex in a marriage is very important. Like. We could downplay it. We could try to minimize it, but no, it is it's 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 up there. It's up there with them big things. It, it's very important to me. Um, I would say on a scale of one to, one to ten, I say I, I'm gonna give it about an eight or nine. I, I I'm gonna give it about an eight or nine. It's important. I still feel like when when sexual intercourse leave the marriage, it's 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 a problem. Something going on. Uh, Grant, if it's not a medical, like, you know, of course, we're not talking about like a medical issue or something, but when the sexual attraction stops and the intimacy, all that stops, something else starting. It's something going on. It's something going on. 
So I don't know. Y'all let me know what how y'all what y'all think. Like how y'all how important y'all think sex is in a marriage. I think it's pretty up there. Um a three? Why would you a three? Oh, you gotta elaborate on them. You gotta elaborate on them. So me and Boo was together two years before we got married. We were together one year um when he proposed. We he proposed on our one year anniversary. He proposed on our one year anniversary. We got married on our second year anniversary on the exact day. So, yep, two years before. Um, yeah, two years. And then we'll be married three years. I mean, three years in July. So we'll be together a total of five years. Um, hold on. I saw another question. Let me see. Oh, I definitely think it's important for the wife to have her own finances. I definitely think so. Um, oh, thank you. I definitely, let me tell y'all something, ladies. It's okay to be submissive to your husband and, and all that is okay, but you definitely need to, uh, hey, the right hand don't always need to let the left hand know what he's doing, baby. You definitely need to have your own. You never know what's going to happen. Look at my situation. You know what I'm saying? Everything was taken away from us. Like, you definitely need to have your own. Anything could happen. He could cheat. He could do anything, honey. You need to have your own money, your own bank account. Y'all can have an account together, but you still need to have your own account. Don't be no damn fool. Don't be no damn fool. You need to have your own money. You need to be able, if something happens, you need to be able to walk away and stand on business. Have your own money. Have your own. And I stand on that. And, you know, me and Boo, we had an account together. And I got my own. And that's just what it is. And that's just something he got to do it. That's just, and he don't have a problem with it. He don't have a problem with it. You need to have your own money. You feel like you high in a line. No, that ain't that ain't like no. Mm -mm, you ain't high in a line. Do you feel do you feel like your husband is entitled to every dime you make? Or like does he feel entitled to every dime you make? Or like elaborate on it. Elaborate on it. Like, I don't know that. You need to always have your own. Man, some of these y'all ever seen these men. Especially in other um ethnicities, the marriage, honey, the man be the breadwinner, and honey, the woman don't work, and child, he just up and be not married. Sally up the street that's 25 years old, and she left with them damn churn, and she ain't got no money, and she don't know what the hell to do. She ain't got no life skills, she ain't got no um job skills. She ain't got nothing. Uh-uh, honey. I even think, I don't, I feel like it ain't nothing wrong with being a stay-at-home mom, but I, I think you need to at least have you some type of skill also, some type of side hustle, some type of something. So in the event, we all wish for the best, but we have to pray for, I mean, we have to prepare for the worst. So always wish for the best, but you also got to be prepared for the worst, honey. So if that man up and leave with Sally down the street, you and your kids can still suffice Y'all can still live until y'all get to that courtroom, baby, because it takes a long time to get to court to get your alimony and all that, baby. You still got to be able to make it in the meantime. Yeah. So let me go back up. Yeah, you got to keep that money separate. You got to. You, you make a lot of money, you don't let him know. Why? Is your husband bad with money? Why you don't let him know? Is he is he bad with money? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Even if he pay everything in the house, you need to have your own. And then y'all know another thing. How y'all feel about that? Because my ex-husband used to pay all the bills and... I felt like it gave him a, a, a sense of superior, like, you know, like, so now in, in a relationship, um, I don't just let like boo pay everything. Even when I, I don't, I'm, I'm talking to adult talk, go back upstairs. Okay. 
No, baby, it's 11 o'clock. Go, go, go upstairs to your room. I didn't even know it was 11 o'clock. <coughs> That's what I was saying. Oh, he runs y'all credit. Oh. Child, we off them girls. Now he want to come talk about the cheating. Y'all, we done with the cheating. I t we just, um, I told them that how I started in the beginning, but we worked it out. And I was the one you, at, at the end of the day, he chose me. Who you chose? You tell him how you blow my bag up from my phone I didn't know. Stop lying, boo. I don't even remember what I was, what was I talking about before Cam interrupted me, y'all? I don't even know. Child, ask me another question. <laughs> she said, ask me one. Boo said, ask him a question. Yes. Yes, girl. Whatever. What would you want? Cheating? Who cheated? I'm not talking. I was talking about when you when we first got together. Uh -huh. How you had about 10 of us in the clutch. Oh, y'all! I gotta tell y'all about this too. How many girls say they was pregnant from you at one time? One you child, that's another life. We're gonna do that on another life. Um, what's the update on the baby this year? It's gonna be later this year. Rebel, what was your that go, Rebel? Rebel, so what's your questions? Come on and ask some more questions. My ex paid everything and it made him feel like he had it. okay. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So, yeah, um, in a previous relationship, he paid all the bills, and I don't recommend that either, y'all, to each his own. But I don't think you should let the man pay all the bills because they feel like they have the upper hand. They feel like they could talk to you any kind of way. And they feel like they, everything got to be their way. I don't give a damn if you pay the cable bill. I think you should contribute something. Don't give him that type of control over you. That's just my opinion. Because they, they, what? You got to pay all the bills. I ain't going to say control, but to say so. She say spit or swallow. I say both. Spit, swallow what? We did, we have an adult conversation. I say both. Spit. I think it depends on the mood you and the day. You not spit it out. I say spit or swallow. You better not spit it out. No, boo don't want me to spit it out. I think I say both. It depends on how I'm feeling. It depends. I done missed some questions, y'all. Yeah, it depends on the mood. It depends on the mood. What do, what do you, I hope you two don't Flat me. I want to know what do what does a man get out of a woman swallowing? What do y'all get out of that? You throwing a baby away from? <laughs> he tell me what you throwing the baby away try from? Try to get your throat pregnant. Try to get the throat pregnant. I don't know if it's like a mind thing, but I always be wanting to know what. What is it when y'all want to come in nigga mom's then? Now the girl's back. So, girls, why would y'all want to come in a man's mouth? Why, why do, why do us women want to come in their mouth? Can somebody answer that? Are we allowed to talk about this on YouTube? We got a lot of swallowers in here. Eat it all, you greedy dog. Dirty dog. You dirty dog. <laughs> Child, they gonna fly the shit out of you. She said, Miss Linda say neither for me. Miss Linda, so what you do with it? <laughs> so, um, somebody got a question for you, boo. This says, Why do some men feel less than when a woman makes more money than him? They can't hear you. You gotta come over. You gotta be crazy. I don't know why men feel like that. Can y'all hear him? Yeah, they can hear me. <laughs> she say I'm a greedy dog. Nice to meet you. Both on. Yeah, I don't know what you can make more than me. I don't feel less, you know. He say he say um I can make more than him and he won't feel less than. I don't know why they feel like that. She said she hand him a Playboy book in his hand. <laughs> oh. Miss Linda, she says she don't spit or swallow. They said, boo, step into the camera. What's up? I can't even see if y'all can see. I can't even see if y'all can see me.
You can't, it's gonna echo. I'm gonna turn it up just a minute. Let me see. What um what you think insecure? I missed that. I missed that. What y'all talk about? Down. You can see me. Let me see. What y'all talk about? Who y'all think insecure? Ride or doggy style? I'm a we could both answer that. I insecure. like what? I don't know. They talk about something. I missed it. Um <sighs> ride or doggy style. Which one you think? I'm gonna answer so boo answer for me and I'm answer for him. Which one I like the most? Answer. They hit the right one then. They ain't hit the right one. He said, he, "What? Which one I like the most?" On your back. On my back, missionary. Ah. Who nearer? Missionary. No, you like to ride. Right? I like to ride it, and Boo like it from the back. I don't care about what I like it from. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. What's the other question? Is um. Uh, yeah, she should. Okay, she said threesome. Would you have a threesome, boo? No. Lies, 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 lies. I knew they had one. Lies. I would. I would have a threesome. I would. I would. I can't do it. Boo say he can't do it. Why? I just can't. Why you can't do it? Mm -mm. Why? A lot of women say, uh, I see, I see a lot of women. I, and not to say that you're insecure if you can't do it. I'm not saying that. But to have a threesome, you have to be really, really, really secure. You got to be real secure. You, you got to you gotta be secure. You got to be secure. And who was telling me about some? Never mind. Um, I was telling you what. About the boy who... um. Who say they was having a threesome and the girl thought she got mad and she walked out was crying. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. They know they know they know they can't watch they, they um uh, make people do something to another woman like that, man. Y'all gonna go crazy. You don't do it to me like that. You don't make me uh, man, you know y'all want me crazy, man. <laughs> Not all women. Some women, um well, I got more power to some, them than have some, with the some some women they actually some women they actually turn them on to watch their spouse with another woman. I mean everybody everybody got their own things. I watch you with another woman. You gotta turn you on to watch me with somebody else. The woman. You're more with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So you oh this girl said she done experienced the threesome with another guy. And another girl. No, she's saying like, so you saying with two guys at one time, and then what you saying? Cause you a lot of times you don't hear about well, we might just not hear about it, a woman having a threesome with two guys. Like he ain't gonna be a husband and another nigga. He gotta be crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like your spouse and somebody, you you rarely hear about that. No, he gotta be two homeboys and he just met her. Shit, that's how it go. Ain't gonna be no more of a boyfriend and another nigga. Yeah. It ain't going down like that. Yeah, yeah. Have I ever tried the grapefruit treat? I had back in the day, yeah. When it was popular, I did. What is it? What is the grapefruit? You treat was in that? prison when that came out. Yeah, back in the day. Hold on, y'all trying to go back up. These questions moving a little fast on my end. Let me see. You were talking about say they just popping all kinds yeah. of <laughs> What's the difference between a man leading you and a man dictating you? Because me and my love get into it every time about the diff about the difference is because I'm in my twenties and trying to see. Um, that's a good question. I think, I think the difference for me is Boo is the head. I know he's the he's the he's the head. Like of course, the man is always the head of the house, but Boo don't dictate me at all. He don't. Speak for yourself. Like he's not he's not controlling. You want to speak for yourself? What? Speak for yourself. Speak for myself or what? She said, What's the difference between a man leading or then versus dictating what you do? Mm, no, I don't care about no that business. No, I don't. 
I know, but she want to know. I can answer for them. Everybody different. <laughs> you know, some of these that got control power. They want to run and do every goddamn thing. So what, what, who was that? Let me go back to her name. So give me an example. Like, what does your husband do? Like, why do you, what, what do you mean? Like dictating? What does he try to dictate everything What's you do? do? Yeah. Or. You can't do this, you can't do that. This, that, and that. Man, with that. See, your boo don't. I, I just think that in a marriage, even though the man is the lead, we equal. We equal. So. I know I, equal. We, I mean, in a sense, like, of course, like, the man is the protector and all that, but me and you definitely equal when it comes to decisions. Like, you don't tell me, oh, I can't do this. You don't tell me that. That ain't me. You know that. And I don't tell, like, I won't say I, if well, Boo for them, well, I would tell well. Boo, like, as far as going somewhere, doing what he want to do, I don't tell him what he can't do, but. Like financially, or if it's some a situation like that, I might step in and be like, "Yeah, no, like, nah, you don't need to do that." Or I might have to put my foot down with some stuff. Cause for me, and Boo would even say this, I'm better at stuff like that. So, yeah, leading is asking, dictating is, yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Men will have two women, but they will not let the woman have two men. That is true. To what? To men. You mean you have for early grade, man? <laughs> Two guys adding another girl with the girl. Okay. Baby, you lit. Baby, we definitely in the We're trenches tonight. To fun yeah. We in the trenches tonight. We definitely in the trenches. Let me see. Let me go back. I'm trying to go back, y'all. I think it's a good thing when you can learn from each other and take turns leading. I think so as well. I think so as well. I think so too. I think it's like Boo always tell me, Boo, what you tell me is compromise in a marriage. Like it should never be, oh, everything gonna be ebony way or everything gonna be boo way. Um, it should be a compromise in a marriage. I think compromise is important. Um, YouTubers you like and YouTube. Who do so right now? I'm like. I guess I name big YouTubers that everybody know. I like Gina Janine. I like Peyton Charles. Um, I like Chelsea. Um, they those are always in rotation. Um, who else? As far as the big YouTube, I watch a lot of people, but um, those are some of the big ones right now that I can say. Who I don't like. Mm. Mm. <laughs> about it. Um, yeah, I was gonna say I really don't dislike somebody. I to be honest with you, I really don't. I ain't even just trying to be like, I don't, I can't literally think of nobody I dislike. I really don't. I will say Peaches pissed me off a couple of times with some of the stuff she said. I used to be a real big Peaches fan, um, but she kind of pissed me off with some of the stuff. But I think Peaches um, do that to for trolling. I think she's very tactful. I think she's a marketing genius, and I think she do some of that for um, views. Um, how do you feel about toys in the bedroom? I like them. I I love the rolls. Boo don't like the rolls. Yeah, you done burnt five of them up. I love the rolls. Boo she, don't like she it. Burn the mold up in the motherfucker. <laughs> I like it. I like the rolls. I like. It. I like. Um, I hate that fucking roll. I even like a little. Um, a little. Can you say dildo on here? I hate that rolls. Boo hate that rolls. I even like a um a little deal though. I like a little deal though. I think you gotta keep it spicy. Y'all never had a deal though and your man at the same time. Nobody never did that. I think you gotta keep it spicy. Everybody ain't freaking you, baby. I bet you it's somebody in here that's gonna say they done had a deal though and they man at the same they time. Lie. That rose is definitely fire, baby. The rose is hey, wait, unmatched. Who said that rose is fire? All of them. 
Where your, where your hose was at? The rose is unmatched. He hate that rose. Yeah, I got pin on my in the woods, y'all. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. He literally, <laughs> I swear to God, he used to throw my roses away. I did, baby. It's it's tagged in my um. I made a video on how to start a janitor business. It's tagged in the description on the vlog. Look at the vlog in the description box, and it's the video tagged on how to start a janitor service. Child, he really do hate that rose. He used to throw them away, y'all. I used to be looking for my rose. And, and then he'll act like he don't know where it's at. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. I told you what it is. Well, no ten. Why you throw my rose away? I hate him. Why? Tell the people I why you hate him. him. Yeah, he's shaking too bad. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, hey, how you shaking too bad? <laughs> So inevitably, you jealous of the rose? Definitely. I had a squirrel. I had a yeah, squirrel. Motherfucker too. Yeah, he got. Oh, you. That's what happened to my squirrel. Shot him in the head. Oh my god! I was looking. <laughs> I was looking for my squirrel, y'all. I swear, I done had to have at least five of them. One of them, I blew the motor out that thing. Boy, I blew the motor out. <laughs> <laughs> Bad they all left why blew the motor out. And what I try to explain to Boo is you that like you love your man to death. Like I love that to death. The rose is a different feeling. Now I don't want you in no different feeling. It's a what different the sensation. What the hell wrong with you to my different feeling? It's it's a different feeling. She bad with that rose. <laughs> the rose is not cheating. Shit me. Oh my God, the rose is not cheating. Girl, I do be hiding it. He would find it, y'all. I used to put it on the mattress. Tell him where you used to find the rose at, child. I, know <laughs> I used to hide it. I was sleeping. She... Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. You got me and try to hide that motherfucker right there and get it. <laughs> what I be saying? <laughs> Catch you a seizure over there. Yeah, that they do make you have a seizure, boy. Do you? <laughs> boy, tell him because he do not believe me. I'm glad all the women in here is vouching for me. The rose is man. Hey, where your man's at? Let me all that. You motherfucker got the house. The rose is undefeated, baby. You follow my blueprint for starting to clean the business, and we have contracts on our belts already. Oh, yes, Ella. I love that. I love, love, love that. You know what, Rubble? I have a butt plug in the room, and I never used a it. What? A butt plug. It's in the room. I think we used anal beads before, didn't we? What is that? Didn't we use anal beads? See your butt plug at? It's in the room. Remember that bag of stuff? What is that? In the closet? I never used So, what type of feeling does the butt plug give you, Rubble? Don't worry about it, bro. I'm finna be in the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> no, you gonna use it on me. Mm. What's the honey pack? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The gold honey packs, yeah. I got your butt plug. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got no manners for no slap. What we gonna do, boo? I'm gonna put my butt. thumb in a butt. Hey! <laughs> So, okay, my husband bought me the rose, but I never used it. Girl, what? Is you crazy? Don't use it. Are you crazy? Girl, you need to use that. You need to use that, baby. The, yes, this E. Oh, y'all, should we? Oh, girl, I like that. So, should we start doing E Gang after dark? Y'all think we should start doing that? I'm a very sexual person. I'm a dog. Boo knows that about me. That's, is that why you love me? Just love you. I'm very sexual and I feel like you need to be open with your not open like but I don't feel like it's nothing to be shame about we're adults like <clears throat> we're adults are y'all finished with me we're adults no me and my boyfriend play together and going out to eat he hold the remote to the butterfly oh that's the butterfly okay 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 I seen yeah 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 I seen that before I'm seeing that I need to try the butterfly you want to try the butterfly when you control it I don't know if that'll do anything for me. No, that, that rose will fuck you up. 
the rose. <laughs> riding face is my rose. Okay. Yes, we love that. I like the ride face too. After dark is cool. Yes. Explore your body. Yes, you should. You should. Like, I feel like it's natural. Like, man, y'all take y'all freak ass to bed, man. Why you hate the rose? It's natural. God put these men here for us to um. That's right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Who said that? I'm with them. Me. <laughs> oh, shit. You don't need no more. So he I said, "How do you?" <laughs> he said, "How do you guys feel about bondage or restraints?" We never used it. I think you put me in cuffs before, or did I put you in cuffs? No, I ain't getting cuffed up. I think you put me in cuffs before. I'm cuffed up with the police. <laughs> but um, I I don't think I ever been in bondage or restraints. What what you like that? I be seeing the people. What is that dominatrix? I see a lot of people talk about that. I don't know. I ever leave you though. <laughs> I don't know because I gotta be able to control. I gotta be able to push you back a little bit when you're going too far. I can't have my hands tied up. I don't know about that. But some women like enjoy that pain. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the duct tape in the truck. What you gonna do? I, she's stupid. How do you? Okay, so boy, it's hilarious. What about the bullet? I had a bullet before. It's all right. I think the um, I think the rose is better than the bullet and the squirrel. The the freaks definitely come out at night. Nobody can tie you down. No. Wow. Do y'all dress up and role play for y'all men? I try to, but boo act like he ain't into it. I want you to hear how your mama spit you out. <laughs> boo act like he ain't into it, y'all. I want you to hear how your mama brought you into the earth, man. How did my mama bring me into the earth? Boy, that's naked. That's how he was. Came out in clothes? Did you come out with clothes on? Mm-mm. All right, then. Mm-mm. I don't know, child. How y'all feel? I like to dress up. I mean, it don't be on but a second, but I like to dress up. I like it. You be role playing. I want to role. Play. Y'all, let me tell y'all, girl. I'm finna tell y'all. Who finna be mad at me? Nah, Child, nah, nah, I, I gotta nah, tell nah, them. Nah, this is nah. it's this eating ain't after dark. I tried to have phone sex and I was so green, y'all. Boo was like, man, you green as fuck. You do not know what you're doing. <laughs> y'all, when Boo was in jail, I tried to have phone sex. And I was, yeah, I right. Boo was laughing at me too. I was like, I don't know. I was like, Boo, what I supposed to say? <laughs> I ain't know what to do. I ain't know what to say. I ain't know what. So when y'all role play, what y'all be doing? What y'all be saying? What you be like? What you be wanting me to be a nurse or something? Huh? What you like role play? Yeah, I just want to nephew. Like, what you want me to say? You want me to be like, um... You gotta say nothing. I don't know. Child, them people heard a lot on that line, baby. Child. The people done seen me get y'all. I had that guy naked for boo on the camera. He was like, babe, I, he was like, babe, I only got two weeks till I come home. Go and get naked. Because once, if you get naked... <laughs> If you get naked, they cut the video off. Well, you can't video chat no more. He told me, I'll see you in two weeks. Go get naked. <laughs> Y'all, I had that guy naked on no people camera. That thing said blocked. <laughs> they ended the call and I was blocked, honey. I couldn't video chat no more, honey. But that's okay, child. Child. Pepsi Cola, Florida. Pepsi-Cola? It's a Pepsi-Cola. Ain't no Pepsi-Cola floor. Role play is good when you're going out. See, we got to get into role play. You want to go? You want to role play? Yeah. I, I don't know, y'all. I ain't going to be able to take it serious. I ain't going to like, how you do it? Like, how you do it? I ain't going to be able to take it serious. I'm going to be like, hey there. I seen a, I seen a couple like they actually get dressed up, they go out, the wife go sit at the bar, the and the man act like he don't know the wife and approach her like like he just hitting on her and he be like, oh you got a you got an old man and he be like my wife is at home and he be they be like oh let's go fuck like stuff like that. Go to the bathroom. I don't know. So just go with the flow. Have him approach. Oh, see, okay, you saw. I just talked about that approaching me at the bar. 
Um, Netflix and chill or then in a movie? I think we be in our different eras. Right now we on a kind of a Netflix and chill era. What you think? And then we'll get into our zones where we want to do then in a movie. It, be, it fluctuates with us. Sometimes we like to go out. Sometimes we like to be in. How was it after he got out? Jesus. <laughs> Wait, you talking about after the 10 years or after this last time? Honey. Girl. Child. Thank you. Well, <laughs> she's talking about the loud, tell me everything I need to know. And do the teen, oh baby, after them 10 years, baby, we was like rabbits. When we like rabbits, well, we literally used to have sex probably about three times a day. Like literally, literally, like literally. Am I lying? Like, he has so much stamina. We still be talking about that now. Like, how he has so much stamina. So much stamina. I love strain lights and candles. Some smooth music with his favorite smell good on um, makeup. Yeah, that's a vibe. That's a vibe, Miss Linda. I like music, too. Sometimes we will have sex to music. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> he told me I'm out of here. I, I like music, too. I think it, like, enhances the mood. I think it enhances it. Like, yeah. <laughs> now we can't. Three times a day right now is, child, that's a joke. That was in the beginning. You know, like, every relationship, when you first start off, we it be like that. How many times do, oh, this is the question I got for y'all. How many times do you think a couple should have sex a week? And y'all, answer it honestly. Don't just be capping. How many times do you think they should, they should do it a week? I want to hear from y'all. Ten to sixteen times a week. Man, ain't lying like a motherfucker, man. Oh my! Once a week, four times, three to four. Yeah, see, that's, that's good. That's good thing. Nothing less than two. I think nothing less than two, two. Um, five to seven, three to four. Child, you done come back to the... Child, you come, coming to... Boo say your back blow out. Talking about you doing that 10 to 6. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the average is about three to four. Man, I, 10 to 16 times, that nigga cheating on her, man. <laughs> I'm telling. Somebody say every day. Sometimes I get in my moods where I be wanting to do it every day. Man, I need you cheating on her, man. How many times do you think us uh, uh is you should have sex a week? Like honestly, Nisi. Twice a month, girl. What's going on with your man? Friday to Thursday. Friday. Damn, that's the whole week. <laughs> that's by the week. Man, they lying, man. Nigga cheating on them, man. They doing all that though. Yeah. Why you say that? Oh. She talking about, about when do they work? If you do it that much, when do that work? 10 to 16. She times. said he ain't he she said he ain't cheating. She the cheater. Yeah, she tired of it. She wants something different. She's he said you tired of it. You want something different. Yeah, she got you, she tired of it. Oh, that time, many times, man. Shit. Yeah, quickest count. Quickest count. Quickest count. Miss Linda, we asked how many times, like, is um a healthy amount to have sex a week for a couple? When you have kids, it does slow down. When life gets in the way, it slows down, too. Yeah, we got to do this again. We're going to start doing E-Gang After Dark. We is. And that way it's already like in the title. So ten in the, if you can hit it quickest. Okay. Ten if you count the quickies. You have sex ten times a week with your man. About two times a day. Hmm. You be tired 24 years. 
They say as you've been together longer, it get like that. She said, when you're not having sex, it's a problem. I agree. I agree. When you're not having sex at all, it's a problem. Nisi say three to four times a week for me. That's average, yeah. I think that's true. Four to five, yeah. Good night, boo. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, as you get older too, I don't think older people do it as much. I would not. I do not think my mama need to be in there doing it no four times a week. Ill. You said ten times a week. She said, "I know me liking no long sex. I'm sorry. <laughs> get it over with, huh? Get in and out." <laughs> Yeah, like on the weekend, and that's true. On the weekend, on a Saturday, you might hit it twice, especially if y'all just laying around the house. So let me ask y'all something, or am I a nympho? Do y'all, when y'all get done doing it, do y'all be wanting to do it again, like immediately after? Do y'all be wanting to do it? Because sometimes I do. And Boo think I got a problem. Yeah. I am a kind of a nympho. And I be tired. I'm a nympho. Ain't no young, ain't no young Jack Rabbit no more. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I be wanting to do it again, like when I get done. I'm old, cool man. Boo say he old now. He can't keep up with me. If you, yeah, not all the time. He got to be me still in the mood. Yeah, yep. Round two. Yep. She told I be needing to regroup. God damn, what he did to you. <laughs> Do that yeah, so that, I said that. I said sometimes, sometimes I be out of there. Can't nobody to get a thing, a, a black guy. <laughs> Don't talk about everything yet. Hey, young man, Did you hope and swell that thing up. <laughs> Answer that. Oh my god. Uh, I can, baby. I they can hear you. I let me know, old man, swell that thing up. Boo say, Boo say, do y'all old men swell that thing up? <laughs> Yeah, after several drinks, thoughts on partners who don't reciprocate head. You can't be my partner. If you don't give head, you can't be my partner. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. That they don't want to. They say no it's nothing. a must. She said it's a must. He swell it up. Man, that nigga ain't hitting no nothing. He swelling that thing up. <laughs> oh my God. My husband always say, give me a man that man it be. For a second round, but it never comes. <laughs> Buddha did me like that before. I'd be like, I want someone. He'd be like, give me a minute. That nigga be over there snoring. <laughs> Buddha definitely did me like that before. <laughs> yeah. That one time, man. Yeah. Spread it out, man. A little bit here, a little bit there. I like head. Stop. Y'all seen that couple on Married to Medicine when a dude, he was like, um, it's in his culture to not give head at all. And I was like, mm, I don't know. <coughs> could, you, could you be with a spouse that you don't really care about head? You don't. Damn, baby, you care all the business. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> could you be with a spouse that don't give head? Yeah, I don't have no problem. You have no problem? Mm -hmm. Boo said he don't have a problem with a spouse that didn't get hit. You know that. I got a problem too. Anyway, man. Your husband know to get the towel immediately, expeditiously. You what? What you throwing in the towel? Yes, it's a must you get it twice a day if I'm in a relationship, a true Virgo. Whoa, baby, you getting it. Your son walked in on us last night while we was in the 69. Girl, what your son said? I was crying. Get off my mama. Get off my mama. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. 305 in the house and 58 years old. When it's over with, it's time to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> you be ready to smoke a cigarette? Yeah, he is a jerk. 
don't know. I was like, why would he say that to that lady on live? Yeah, that's average people don't even do I mean, not on live, on TV. Why would he say that? Some African ain't into that. Well, he said, she said, the baby said, Ma, you're disgusting. <laughs> when they walked in on him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got some other questions, but it's more for us women. Boo might be done with us if we start talking about that stuff. No, I ain't. Spit it out. Spit, he said, spit it out. All right, babe, you got to leave now. Huh? <laughs> Child, that's a mess. Cam walked in on us before, y'all. Cam definitely did. He said we gay. Cam, Cam he was like, y'all gay. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. What's the question, y'all? We've been on here two hours. Your kids never did. That's good. I was so embarrassed. I was literally embarrassed, y'all. I was embarrassed. Happy birthday, Cynthia. I was so embarrassed. Period sex or no? Nah? I'm down with period sex. Fuck I I'm down with period sex. No, I hate it. I, I'm down with it. Boo hate it, but we have done it before. He don't like it. He don't like black towel, black towel, black towel, shower, black towel or the shower. Do y'all have period sex or no? No, they do. They do? They might not. Let's see. Let's see. They might not want to answer that. Them freaking freaking people, man, they have period sex. They have a period sex? You know they have. Black towel gang. See? So why don't men like to have period sex? My ex son walked in on us. He immediately walked out. My ex wanted to continue. I made him go. To <laughs> I know it's like, oh, that's so awkward. I don't have a period no more. Lucky you. You've only done it once. You don't ran. She said we don't ran a couple red lights. I like that. I will start saying that. I like that. That. But do y'all know this? I don't know about y'all. I be more freakier when I'm on my period. I be so horny. Do y'all be horny when y'all on y'all period? All right, time to go. She say married people do it. Yes, they do. No, no, that time me to get out of here. It helps your cramps go away. Either the shower or a towel. Hell, my hormones are crazy. Yes, okay, I just said that. Am I married? Clarify, I am married to a woman and no no period sex. We both have. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, of course you, yeah, you can't do that, married to a woman. Yeah. I have um uh, back in the day, I have not had a period since I was in my 30s. Wow, y'all lucky. Yeah, you know, they're not Sh shower, but I've towered before. Oh, Nisi, I know you do. <laughs> I have before. Okay, so everybody, so pretty much everybody done did it before. Your mother-in-law walked in on y'all. Ooh, hey, hey, DJ Queen. Ooh, ooh, child, what she said? Get it, son. What she said? You working a son? <laughs> what she said when she walked in the door? You doing that, son? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Nisi, you ain't never tell me that. Oh my God, you never to. Oh, you got to tell me that story tomorrow. Oh my God, I think I would have been embarrassed too. No period, but you have done it. She said you was riding that thing to town. <laughs> She was riding that thing to town. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. She, the other lady said, she said, Daniel, what you doing to her? <laughs> hey, I got him. 
I gotta ask y'all a question. I'm not a bitch. I'm sorry, I get okay, I gotta ask y'all a question before we hang up. Y'all ever been having sex so good and you be like, "What you doing to me?" Like you just gotta ask that nigga, "Oh my god, what is you doing to me?" And a little tear roll down y'all eye. A little. A little tear. Y'all ever had sex that good? <laughs> y'all ever had sex that good? She said, "Yup." <laughs> What is you doing to me? <laughs> yes, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Baby, you being up crying and shit. And after this, you be all embarrassed. Like, was I really crying? Was I crying? <laughs> Say you about to run off, boo. <laughs> ain't gone yet. He ain't gone yet. Yeah, that's the best, honey. Yes, them legs get sh- y'all legs be shaking. Baby, let me tell y'all something. Let's talk about car sex. Baby, where's the where's the best sex we ever had? Where was that, baby? Graveyard. It was not the graveyard. <laughs> The best, the best sex I ever had in my life was in the car. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the excitement. I don't know if I don't know what it is. But baby, mm, mm, she said that's why we still married for twenty eight point six years. I know that's right. I know that's right. I know that's right. Child, boo line. We did not have sex in the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> he lied. She said she walked into the wall before trying to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Those knees was weak. <laughs> I get so weak in the knees. I can hardly speak. I lose all control. <laughs> Child, this Q and A done turned into. Mm-hmm. Boo definitely played too much time out the graveyard. Had me thinking to myself, did we do it in the graveyard? <laughs> it was so good you started crying. Yes, girl. Yeah, she's talking. About she better not have no e game, baby. Little baby gonna be in the in the womb throwing this set up. E game. E gang, <laughs> yes, child. Y'all, I had fun. Do y'all want to continue to do stuff like this? Do y'all want to do like once a week a E gang after dark? Let me know before I end it. Thank you so much for moderating EC. You definitely held us down. You dropped all the links. Can everybody? Can everybody give Nisi a round of applause? Thank you, Nisi. Yes. This was so fun, y'all. I had so much fun. So we're going to do every Tuesday. He's talking about he telling Canard. No, you ain't. <laughs> yes. Oh, we should do a members only discussion. Okay, so members only after dark. Y'all join the members. It's only 99 cents. We're going to talk. We're going to talk some real freaky stuff in there. So we'll see y'all next Tuesday. E gang after dark. Huh? Oh no. E gang after dark. I love y'all, E gang. I had so much fun. Bye, y'all.